Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Take part in this uh, conversation. Uh, good morning and uh Welcome to the program. Your, your name and now uh, no Oswald. Please go ahead. Thank you very much. Uh, let, I think let me let me let me respond to to Oswald and yeah. uh, and I thank him for yeah. uh, for 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 his uh, for his submission. Right. I don't share the panel. She doesn't let you find your own safety fear. When you share from Dante, Dante is not. But I take a mobile study. They know about five years. Aye, he may have done. Ile ero na ba bombo mo akamo. Imieshi ine atemo afu nenshiko ikumi na imiri atemo twelve days. Nindo ndora wino wino ifintu fimo efu ba kate kavala ile ne mimi mwa bombe. Ero nindo ndoro ra nokuwa chukuli mimi mo imbi ipamfiche abena zamia eu vou acatar cá para estar chani mas eu vou me lapo o mudi mo mbe o balanda po a mudi mo a imicadi the cost of living nindo andro na nati the cost of living had been rising rapidly for the past ten years or now yeah past ten years 2011 2021 it had gone up by 300 percent now to be able to reverse all of that Chintu chimosho venga wakateka venga chita mudi one year, four months and twelve days. Aha, yo. Lerocho wa chitre kwe bati, if intu fumwefi alele ngo kwe bati, imi ikati le yaba ntu yesu, ishupe. Ukukuro guno nisho wachalo, na tuwa mboko chitefi. And I've said, the economy was receding at minus 2.7%, now it's close to 3%. That's progress. Investments are up by close to sixty percent. The most cheaper equipment. I'm a businesses now. I'm more kubwa na. Instead of now, I'm more kubwa na. Now my incomes now I'm more kubwa na. But the other one, two forty thousand, they have a share of it. Instead of have a share of it, they have a share of it. No man have a share of it. They have a share of it because they have an income. So slowly but progressively, the president is working through these challenges. If we are under Papa Baba Oswald. Na pamula nduwa muti, na uine, na tunfwa. But, nindo ndorura, icha lele nga, ishinshu kushafuma kwa hati mwishini ishafuma kwa icha lele nga kwa hati, kube ama delays of some sort. Mula nduwa kwa hati, kunu mo, imu mwewe na Zambia, mwarelu usa indalama, indalama, mumi indalape nduwa in millions of dollars, in supply contracts. Because medicines were not being delivered at the right price. 
We know this. Same as fertilizers. Now, in the name of the show, the show of 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 the Ask a parent who had a student at Unza or Sibiu, they have a pocket of meal allowances. Ask them how difficult it was. Economy sinks, company closes, a parent loses a job, and therefore they lose an income. Then you buy some meal at the hour, one hundred to a clump of meal allowance. Move a push, a for chaffin, a for chacosel. And we committed to redressing and restoring that balance. And we have done it. So, but also what? She should have so so go at the fin to fin to win or yo. The lot of industry shall go at it, but if in to fumo for two one better po for a cateca one better po, could enough you more ever to day one better po. Now to me, the shan yoko at once ever a cateca for five years, never bomb bomb a cow more, the mesh four, not twelve days. He is still working, I can assure you. Bangunic to empire, he talks about a lot of things. Cadders mm. have explained uh, that leadership is being provided on that issue. There will always be the one-off chance that in the old place, cadres are going to misbehave and cross the line. Because for 10 years, we got used to that. That's all that we got used to. It became normal. 10 years. I'm a cadre as well. 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 i am to reverse all of that, sometimes you're going to face inertia here and there, but we want to emphasize we have the police. The police have a job and responsibility to you, the Zambian people, not so much the president, to you, the Zambian people, to make sure that law and order prevails. They have to move in quickly, fairly, but firmly, and apply the law and make sure that we maintain the balance of law and order. It is as simple as that. You don't seem to have uh, quite some political will on, on road infrastructure development in this country. The political will is there, Zach. It is absolutely there. Because now, even even just the, I, the budget allocation for 2023 for this year, uh, it doesn't speak much. It doesn't It doesn't show that really we are expecting any road infrastructure development or um, construction. I, I would actually uh, quite be keen mm -hmm. to to get some feedback on that from the uh, Ministry of uh, Infrastructure. Imona, I never asked that one has to drive through the Usaka Ndola single carriageway, which now has become virtually unusable. Oh, that only is, two days ago. That is of concern to, to the President and to all of us. This is why that PPP arrangement is being expedited and the president wants a resolution very quickly on that and we need to get a move on on the northern corridor route so that we can sort it out and there are other important business uh, business routes uh, that need working on those are also being prioritized um, you have to remember that by and large zambia doesn't have uh, the money to invest into road infrastructure. We never had the money. This is why you saw an exacerbation of expensive public debt, commercial debt, which ultimately failed to deliver the sort of value that it ought to have to have delivered. There are there always is, questions around there is there, there are there, always questions around how we are using to get fees because everyone knows that it's a lot of money that is being realized from you have heard you have heard you have heard you have heard you the zambian people have heard the president raise that question mm -hmm. as well the point is that the president is with you 
not just on this issue, but on all of the issues that you are raising, the president is with you. He has asked the question, how do you explain that Apapari took it? Then a few He should be asking questions. He should be demanding no, for but, answers. But, but, but this he, is, should net, he should but, know them no, by, but, the, but, but, by, but the, is, by the press of the phone button. Yes, he should yes, have answers. Yes. Does yes, he still, yes. still have no answers for yes, Zambians no, as to where no, the money that, is going? No, no Zach. And this, is, and this is what I'm saying. Mm. This is a president who does not believe in micromanaging people. He wants all of us to get on with our jobs because we all get paid by the Zambian people to do our jobs. So Ngachako writes a papari target, a papari pothole. You honestly want the president, the whole president, to come and fix a pothole there. Is it not common logic that that Abanga Badi Toget, Abapadi Porthole. Surely part of that money perhaps should be used to make sure that that porthole is mended. Does it require. But, but if it's not happening. Does it require the. If it's president? not happening. This is unfortunately. And this is why this country. He should, he should direct this. This is why this is, why. this is why this country failed, Zach, for, for the past 10 years. You had the people who were not prepared to do anything until and unless. There was a directive from the president. The president has directed this. The president has directed that. The president has directed. Why did you get paid by the Zambian people? Why did you get paid? Can everyone... if that's how Zambians work, no, you should, you should no, get into no. That, gear. that culture, that culture needs to end. And this is why. You but it's costing. This is why. This is why. It's costing him a lot. This is why. You colleagues in the media, Zach, mm. you need to help all of us, the president and the Zambian people, in demanding accountability of everyone and anyone. You cannot say, no, Lord Shedding, let's hold the president accountable. It's not working. No fertilizer, let's hold the president accountable. We are, we are merely accountable. holding him accountable. Let, 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 let me, so, let me, so let me point, clarify this. Point, we are only uh, uh, holding him accountable to his statements because he makes them first. And I, I just he said, makes statements, and then I, we, we, we counter-react. We, and I just we hold said, him against that. And I just Unless said, he decides to work without saying things that he's no, not working. No, and I just said, Zach, that the president receives a lot of advice. And I'll say it again. He received a lot of advice, and that advice is informed by a host of issues. And the president, from time to time, he will rely on the advice that he receives from men and women like yourself and myself. So for one so year, four months, if, 12 days, we still don't know how much we are realizing from, from targets. And look, it's a good question that you raise. I don't have that figure off the top of my head. But it will be interesting to... Ask colleagues at the uh, National Road Fund Agency. I believe they're the ones who collect uh, the fees, isn't it? I believe yes. it's, I believe it's yes. them. It'll be interesting to ask them how much they have collected over the past one year, four months, and 12 days that the president has been in office, and how much of that money has so actually the gone. The president doesn't know that. And has actually gone. I said, I, I don't have those figures off the top of my head. If I had them, I could have told you, right? And then how much of that money has gone into road maintenance? It would be interesting to hear that. Now, I said I came here with only my hands and my mouth, Zach, because this is a Zambian conversation. This is not even a political issue. It's common logic. The questions that you are asking are the same questions that all of us are asking. It's, it's basic. Let's hear how much has been collected and how much has gone towards road maintenance because we don't want citizens to be to be complaining about a porthole which is a few inches away from a toll gate. It doesn't make sense. If it doesn't make sense to you, the Zambian people, it probably doesn't make sense to the president either. This is why you've heard him publicly say and talk about some of these things. So we are in this together, Zach. And the solution could this, that you... could this be the reason why your ministers don't actually respond to our invitations? Because they to know nothing. When you say your they, minister, they when you know, say, when they you say, know nothing. When you, say, when, you say, when you say your ministers, for example, what do you mean? Do you, these ministers are not the president's ministers. They are your ministers. They are serving... Well, they serving, are working for the president. No, they're working for you, the Zambian people. But first are, of all, remember yeah. that the president is doing this job through ministers, delivering service to the Zambians through his ministers. The quest for accountability is for all of us. Zach, 
These are because I'll tell you, I'll be honest with you. I've been hanging on with this question for a long time about why we have uh, we have potholes on roads that have toll gates. Mm. Where does the money go? Yeah, I have been trying so hard to get the minister of uh, uh, of infrastructure here. Mm. It's it's just something that you cannot even. <sighs> You, you, it, it's it's not realistic so look, that you it, can get a minister in this UPND government to respond to such questions so, that, are, that are affecting the people. Because when we go out there, they ask us questions. Why don't you ask these people? Why don't you bring these people? And I don't think citizens know how hard it is to get a UPND minister. You ask, some UPND ministers. I must when, say. You, when, you're, when you want your president to speak, he's available. He has appeared on public... on mass public engagement platforms four times in one year, four months, and 12 days. Four times. And he continues to engage. When you ask me to come, I come here. Because we work for you, the Zambian people. The president wants everyone to be available. All of us to be available. He's available. Everyone else should be available. We have done so much work. We have done so much work in the short period that we have been in office, courtesy of the Zambian people. It, it should not be difficult for us to come and tell our story, Zach. Yes, there are challenges, but even through those challenges, we should be able to come here. The president is able to come. I just gave you an example of fertilizer. The president was able to do the difficult thing to look you, the Zambian people, in the eye and say, We have had these challenges. This is why we've had these challenges, but going forward, we don't expect these challenges. Anyone and everyone should be able to do that. Because after, at the end of this stint, we'll still come back to you, the Zambian people, and give an account of how we have worked anyways. So if we're gonna do that, we might as well do that now. It's easier so that we move along with the people through the good times, through the bad times, where we have worked well, where we still have a bit of work to do. This is why I'm here. This is why the president continuously engages. You, you, and this is know, why he continues, a, it's, 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 he continues, it's he continues to encourage it's different, all Antony. other men and women that have been appointed it's and different. serving at the pleasure of the Zambian people to continue being available. It's different, Anthony. If you tell me you're going to be available and then you can't respond to a question that has to do with a road network, mm. this is the reason why I need the minister. It's, it's pointless to have you here to an issue that has to do with a particular and, ministry. And, and let, me, let me acknowledge that I've had good responses from a few ministers. I mean, the Minister of Commerce... Uh, he's been he's been very generous. I mean, he's always uh, responding to our invitations. The Minister of Water, uh, Honorable Mike Mposha, he's been okay. I mean, uh, of course, maybe let's conclude. Your concluding remarks. Um, it has been uh, quite some journey, not just for the president, but for all, all of us as citizens. Mm. Uh, very difficult, but we are delivering. We need knew exactly what the challenges were because we spent quite some time engaging you, the Zambian people, on what you wanted us to sort out. So we knew exactly what the issues were. The president was very clear. You said, let's reunite. He made that a priority, sorted out. You don't hear any member of this administration who engage. Zero. The president made it a priority to positive growth. We've reined in on inflation. We've created close to 50,000 public sector jobs and still counting. Massive um, success. Ask members of parliament, including the opposition, ask Sandy Chandra, the phenomenal contribution that CDF is making to communities and our people who live there. Students, we're just happy that we've been able to create capacity to give you back your meal allowances. We're working on those loans deductions. The issue of pension benefits, outstanding. All of them cleared, Zach. Local government equalization fund, we are up to par. We are getting a solution on the issue of debt. 
will continue to emphasize that there is no room for political cadreism. There is no room for harassment or extorting of money from our marketeers, zero. By the way, our marketeers have been given that boost alone facility to help them rebuild their businesses. And we'll continue uh, making sure that we bring the cost of living issue under control. And again, I'm going to emphasize this is a, an issue that had been spiking out of control for 10 years, 10 long years. It had been spiking and the president is working. You gave him five years to get this country back under control and give it back to the Zambian people in the shape and form that you, the Zambian people deserve. He has done one year, four months and 12 days today and the president is still working. As far as the president is concerned, you, the Zambian people, come first. You are number one. And your needs are going to be prioritized. I'll show you that whatever the challenge, however long it takes, we shall work through it systematically and diligently until we deliver solutions to you, the Zambian people. On the issue of load shedding, the president sympathizes with the Zambian people. He wants an end to this issue. We said we'd put an end to it, and we're working towards putting an end to it. We're diversifying our energy generating sources towards something much more climate resilient, much more sustainable, solar wind. This is why the president is this month probably expected to be in Abu Dhabi so that we can get in the much needed investment into the energy sector. The Zambian people can believe that they have a president who's working. And we expect that colleagues in the opposition can work with us on things that matter most to the Zambian people. Let's agree to work together, support the president, where you disagree, let's hear what your disagreement is. We're going to we're going to look at that. This is an open arms president. He runs an open door policy because this is not his country alone. It is a country for all of us, and we must build solutions together. So thank you for having had us, Zach. Um, we'll keep engaging. We'll be available to you and to the Zambian people. Uh, non stop. <laughs> Sorry, I apologize. <laughs> But thank you very much for coming, uh, and we can only wish uh, the president all the best. Uh, you know, it's it's not an easy uh, job that that he's been tasked to do, but uh, his term. he is equal to the task. Zach, is it? It is just that. Not say is it. He mm. is equal to the task. He has done one year, four months, and twelve days of the five years you've given yeah. him. I'm, I'm not going to get tired of counting because we have very stringent targets to work towards and we need to keep track and how much of it we have utilized. So mm -hmm. I'll keep on reminding you that. So Has that said, hard for you today. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, we will definitely be back uh, next week, um, same time, same day. That is, uh, this is DJ Mutat exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.